So it's time for Senior X30, and this one could be a close one again. Brett Ward and Matthew Hurst on the front row, Collings and Johnson, Davies and Partridge, Flynn, Mackerel, White and Bingham rounding out the top ten on the grid. Then we've got Ewan Wilson, Richard Anna and Eleanor Morris, and the rookie Davy Shepherd. Down the straight for the final time here today at Fullbeck. It's racing and down to the chicane for the first time. All hugging the inside line. They miss the chicane on the first lap and go straight into the hairpin. They'll use the chicane for the remainder of the race, of course, and then back down the back straight up towards the first part of the course where things get really tricky. The first of the bus stops. Here we go. Oh, and one or two drivers going wide, but somehow they all get through without any major dramas. I think that was Jamie Flynn running wide there, but Manny to, managed to collect it and get through the chicane never went uh, straight on if he went straight on they would have given him a one lap penalty but looks like he's uh, made his way through but lost places there he is on the 27 well Brett Ward is your lead up cart 46 he's out in front looking strong second position behind him the 96 who's shared the front row with him Matthew Hurst has down the straight again into the first of the chicanes the championship leader Josh Collings in third position behind these two and he's got plenty of time to make up Brett Ward your leader Finished third in both of the heats before winning the pre-final earlier on. So now he's got a chance to make it two wins from four. But Josh Collings, the man in third, is the one to watch. He'll want to increase his lead in the championship battle. Yeah, Brett felt he had problems in the heats, even though he came third. He wasn't happy. They seem to have sorted that out for the pre-final. And he's out front here, but he's under a lot of pressure. So is Brett Ward going to be able to hold on to this lead at the front? It looked for a moment like Josh Collings could have had an opportunity. There's an arm in the air at the back. That looks to me like Eleanor Morris in trouble, one of the Cheshire Morris trio. Sounds like a 1960s band, that, doesn't it? The <laughs> Cheshire Morris trio as Matt Davies makes a move up the inside and he's through. Yes, he got past Charlie Bingham there very nicely into the chicane. Up to uh, turn one. Brett Ward will slide through there. That's Matthew Hurst picked out the 96 car for KR Sport in second place. Head down through the little, uh, well, the S's, I guess you'd call it, into uh, the uh, bus stop. Is that bus stop or chicane? I, I forget which one's the bus stop, which one we're calling the chicane. We'll day. debate this forever in a day, but Collings is up the inside going for second, and I think he's made it stick and trying to go with him this time. It's going to be close to see the battle for second, third position. I think Roy Johnson is getting his weight thrown in there as well. Jensen Button in 91, Lewis Hamilton in 95, Harry Thompson in 2016, all MSA British Cadet Champions. You can add Roy Johnson's name to that list, Jake. He won it in 2008. Here comes Johnson to have a look on the inside of Hurst. He's not going to get there, but he might have an opportunity. Good traction off the turn will put him in third, but no, Hurst shuts the door. So it's going to be an interesting one. Here comes Mackerel. Mackerel's going to try and go up the inside. Well, oh. Hurst went through and Mackerel went with him and uh, Roy Johnson has lost a couple of places, maybe three. Well, yes, there he is down in fifth position and up the inside he's going to lose another one. Partridge goes through, Davies is going to go with him and this is turning into a bit of a nightmare for Johnson. Davies slots in behind him, Partridge is now in front in the Melia Sport cart. But there is your man, the championship leader, second place Collings trying to close up on Brett Ward. Ward just takes a quick look over his shoulder. He's got daylight between himself and the rest, so that will keep him very happy for the moment as they go through the first of the bus stops. The short stretch down to what is turn one on the first lap is technically turn two on the next. And up the inside is that Mackerel through into third place. Yes, he's got through. So Mackerel into third position, taking on Hurst. So Hurst is now on the back foot. Johnson looks like Johnson's in sixth place there as we look at it from the drone he's got the lighter suit on down to the uh, square left yeah it's Partridge in front of him Jack Partridge not for long though here goes Johnson up the inside Davies is taking him oh Partridge gets spat off into the dirt and through two goes the 58 of James White so a big moment there for Partridge let's look at this again Junior TKM champions both here tangling that's the 2012 champion on the left the 2013 champion on the right the 21 Matt Davis, they won the Junior TKM title in back-to-back -back years. So down the straight, here comes Davies again, up the inside of Hurst into the chicane. Is he going to make that stick? They tangle, and Hurst is off into the scenery. So they've tangled, Davies has tangled with two drivers in the space of a lap. First Partridge, now Davies, as Johnson makes up a place at the hairpin. It's pandemonium. Yeah, that will be either a black flag if the officials have seen it, if they want to give him a black flag for that they might want to investigate it after the race well Dave, if it's been seen that's an exclusion Jake well, because, yeah, it is. well he tried to back out of it to be fair to Matt he, you could see he locked up he tried to back out of it realised he made a mistake let's have another look at the replay there's your lead up it's front wheel to rear wheel contact there it is now you see he's, he's sliding 
He's trying to back out of it, but his front wheel has contacted Matthew's rear wheel. He will always be held responsible for that. Officials have seen it. That's an exclusion. That's such a shame. So Matt Davies, it doesn't matter where he finishes, the officials, as soon as they've seen that, it is going to end up being coming to nothing, whatever he ends up with. But he is now currently tucked up behind Roy Johnson. There's the warning flag. I think it's going to be a lot more than that by the time he gets to the paddock. Yeah, warning flag coming out on the... Uh, start finish line he'll get that radio traffic clocks of the course are communicating oh collision with 96 to be investigated after the race they're giving him a warning at the moment they're not giving him a black he's had a black flag no it's a warning flag so they're just giving him a warning at the moment but they'll have both drivers in after the race and they'll ask them about their opinion and that's pretty that's going to be pretty clear it's a slam dunk that one well, Mackerel in second position now, as we know. Collings in third place. So Mackerel working his way through the field. Very disciplinarian he has been over the last few laps. Mackerel in front of Collings. That's a little bit of a points deficit now for the championship leader. And he'll want to get back on terms with Mackerel quickly. There's Jamie Flynn having a good battle. As up the inside, he's taken by Ewan Wilson. Jack Partridge is getting into the mix again as well after his little rally cross excursion at the corner just behind him. So there's a lot going on in this one. Mackerel in front of Collings. They're both trying to catch up with that man who's just disappeared through the chicane and he'll pop back out now, Brett Ward. So Mackerel in second, Collings third, then it's Johnson, Davies, Wilson, Partridge now in front of Jamie Flynn again. So a really close battle all the way through the top six. And there's the 58 in the mix as well. That's James White, the rookie. Really close fight as he now gets on terms with Flynn down the straight once again to the bus stop chicane. This will be really tough, but Roy Johnson is now starting to make inroads into the third place man Collins. Yep, Roy Johnson, as we've just seen there, 2008 MSA British Cadet champion, but this place is being made up. Is that James White, Jake, down the inside? Certainly he's is. Hold on to it. <laughs> they've contacted oh, one, two, three con times. Oh, I was going to oh, say, no. they've got to go off there. They've got to go off there. It was ugly going into the corner. It looks even uglier coming out of the corner. Collision on lap six for those two drivers. They are out. Well, let's look at this again. In fact, on the small screen, you've got Collings going for second place. He takes that off Mackerel. But the big picture, once again, is just two drivers going for the same bit of tarmac. You can't really blame one or the other, but neither was willing to give way. And they were both going straight to the scene of the accident. Bearing in mind the problems that Brett Ward felt he had yesterday in finishing third in both of the heats, he is miles clear now so whatever problems he felt he had with the cart yesterday he and the team clearly have worked together to sort those problems out yellow flag obviously waving in the boot the two carts off at the edge of the track that's why and James White gesticulating at the side of the road there's not a lot you can do about it now I'm afraid you're just going to have to accept your lot and come back next time for more so Collings having got back into second position with Mackerel on his tail there's the leader Brett Ward look at the gap that is the entire length pretty much of the straight Collings in second third is Mackerel then it's Johnson Davies Wilson Partridge and then further back the 55 Davies Shepherd who started in dead last in this race has now fought his way up towards the front of the grid so that's going very well for Davy. Collings Mackerel second and third Johnson's not far away none of these guys have got a candle to hold to Brett Ward today though passing the scene of the accident James White looking on rather disgruntled but look at that gap Brett Ward absolutely dominant as he goes into the penultimate lap here two to go and he is absolutely large and in charge second place still up for grabs though and technically it could be any one of these six there's Brett Ward down the straight it's a nice drive in the countryside for him here but it's now this scrap Collings Mackerel Johnson Davies Partridge and at the back of the queue it is Wilson uh, sorry Partridge is at the back of the queue behind Wilson so it's going to be a really close fight this one, but I don't think Mackerel is actually going to be close enough to the Welshman to be able to get through. Meanwhile, Ewan Wilson is stepping up the attack on Matt Davies. Matt Davies, of course, racing under a cloud to a certain degree. That little incident with Jack Partridge followed closely by that incident with Matthew Hurst. I would not be surprised. Unfortunately, though, it is to say if the stewards throw the book at him when he comes into the pits, but, however, he can't think about that. He's just got to get on and race. That's what a racing driver does in these situations. Yeah, I don't think, to be fair, I don't think it was uh, deliberate. Matt's not that type of driver, he, it, but it was his mistake. He'll be the first to hold his hands up and say, yeah, I, I, I lost it. I tried to back out of it, but unfortunately, it all went fair shaped Yeah, absolutely. That's why I said it's unfortunate, because it's not in Matt Davies' nature to behave like that, and he will be very disappointed with himself more than anything else for being in that position in the first place. Meanwhile, out front, 
front. It's domination for Brett Ward. Way in front of this, the chequered flag flies. And there it is, Brett Ward lights the flag. Absolutely meteoric drive as he dominates and blitzes the field. Collins in second, Mackerel third, Johnson is fourth. Over the line, Davies is next, but he is excluded as we thought he might be, unfortunately. Partridge is fifth then from Davies Shepherd, with Hurst recovering to seventh ahead of Bingham. Brett, not the best of days for you yesterday, not by your standards anyway, but turned it round today, two wins, you know, what changed? Do you know what, just last night we took a step back, thought about what we needed to do, worked really well as a team. I can't thank MLC enough, or Mac one for all the hard work they do, and um, paid off in the end, I'm very happy. Is that a position you found yourself in a lot of times, did that come from experience, or did that just come from, you know, the team's knowledge maybe? It, both of our experiences together, we just worked well together and um, come out on top. That's all from Full Beck. The next televised round is from Shellington, close to the side of the first battle of the English Civil War at Edge Hill. Roundheads will be back, not on horses, but with plenty of horsepower.